Well, today marks the day of reconciliation with historical significance in South Africa. An integrational dialogue will be held to explore issues of reconciliation as well as social cohesion amongst others. Our reporter Aviwe Mdila is in Pretoria with more to update us on this specific day. Aviwe, a very morning, good, uh, good morning to you, colleague. I mean, today is quite a significant day. We've heard uh, even from the minister, Ronald Lamola, saying that unity and forgiveness and healing needs to be the order of the day but from where you're standing I mean what can you tell us Certainly unity is at the key of this uh, important day in the country, Reconciliation Day or the Day of Reconciliation as it's significantly known. Um, we're expecting the prayers to start here at Freedom Park at around 7 o'clock with seven different um, interfaith uh, organizations from your Christianity, uh, the Muslims, the Rastafarians and other uh, faith-based religions coming together and in speaking to the CEO of uh, the Freedom Park telling me that that significance unity even though uh, they come from different ritual um, backgrounds and uh, religious backgrounds. They'll come together here and in fact pray not only for the unity but uh, for the country as well. And then at 10 o'clock we're expecting uh, a dialogue that will include some um, veterans, military veterans and also veterans of uh, the struggles. Uh, some of them are Snooki Zagalala, some of them are um, General Keith Mogobe and as well as Vusi uh, Msimango um, who will be reflecting not only on the struggles that they themselves, in, in fact, put in putting together this democratic South Africans, the sacrifices they made uh, during um, apartheid, but also uh, will give guidance to the current leadership and some of the abstracts that they can take uh, from those leaders of those days and how they could help the country going forward. Of course, Reconciliation Day not, marks not only the, um, the coming together of government in 1995, but also the formation of Mkondo e Sizwe, uh, happening on the 16th of December, um, uh, as well as the, the, marking the Battle of Ngome River, happening back in the 80s already. So three significant events coming together to commemorate the reconciliation of South Africa. Now, do we know if this will be a closed event just for some of the ANC veterans, some of, you know, perhaps even government officials, as well as members of the Interfaith Aviwe, or can the public uh, even be present and view this dialogue and participate in it? Well, this particular event will be uh, guarded closely with those COVID-19 protocols uh, in place. It won't be open to the public. Uh, it will be a closed dialogue, but um, of course it will uh, have virtual links where publics uh, can be able to access this. But in speaking to the CEO of Freedom Park, uh, she did assure me that all those COVID-19 protocols will be in place uh, to safeguard. Uh, of course, we understand the pandemic that we're currently in, uh, but they do want to spread the message of unity on this important day um, uh, today, Dumel. All right, then, Aviwa, we'll leave it at that. And, of course, be sure to keep those updates coming right here on ENCA. Aviwa, thank you for that update.